This re the region's biggest giving day kicks off for its 11th year. Amplify Austin Day is a 24 hour community wide day of online giving. And of course, you can donate early. We do have a link for you over on our website at KXAN.com. And joining us this afternoon is Courtney Manuel. She is the CEO of I Live Here, I Give Here, the group behind Amplify Austin Day. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us. And let's just dig into some stats right now. Since 2013, Amplify Austin has raised over 92 million million dollars for nonprofits. That money is given out during Amplify Austin Day. Your group, though, doles out the funding to the nonprofits. Can you talk about where that money goes and um, what you're seeing and how it's helping those nonprofits? Yes, yeah, so we are going into our 11th Amplify Austin Day. It's our 10th anniversary. Uh, so we are really, really excited for 6 p.m. tonight for it to start. Um, the money that is raised on Amplify Austin Day is really important mm -hmm. money for organizations. It's unrestricted dollars that keep lights on, you know, pay bills, pay, you know, your rent, et cetera, right? Um, and that money is really hard to fundraise for. So organizations really count on this day year after year. Um, when a donor comes to the site to make a gift, their gift goes directly to the organization. I Live Here, I Give Here, in addition to that, raises matching dollars from very generous corporations and foundations and individuals. And so that's what amplifies the day. That's what makes this day unique as compared to the other 364 days of the year. When you give between 6 p.m. today and 6 p.m. tomorrow, your gift is going to be magnified and the impact's gonna be a lot greater. Yeah, which I think is a huge incentive for businesses and just individuals to give to this. And so talk about the nonprofits. How do you choose those? What's the vetting process in terms of who gets that money? So there's 700 or so uh, organizations that participate. They are part of an, our nonprofit membership program. This is one of the programs that they opt into as a nonprofit member. Um, to become a nonprofit member, they do that once a year and they fill out a very long mm -hmm. uh, registration process. We vet every single organization that fills out one of the, the registrations uh, and we make sure that they are a 501c3, that their status is current. We look at their 990s. So we go through a whole vetting process before they can join and before their um, profile becomes active on AmplifyATX.org. Okay, and during that vetting process, I know that you talk to many of the leaders of these nonprofits. What are you hearing from them? We know what they dealt with during the pandemic. Are they rebounding? Are things getting better? Is there hope on their horizon? So what I can tell you is that Austin is continuing to grow like everyone mm. knows. And as Austin grows, the disparities across Central Texas continue to grow. And that puts even more and more pressure on the nonprofit of the community. Um, and so that's what makes days like today so important uh, because we are addressing that great, great need. Um, I'm very proud to be a Central Texan and Central Texans show up year after year mm. to participate on Amplify Austin Day. As you said, we've raised almost $93 million over the past 10 Amplifies. I have no doubt that Central Texas is gonna show up again today um, and tomorrow, uh, but I would encourage people who haven't necessarily participated before to go online and take a look. Uh, we have made it super easy mm -hmm. for you to find organizations. You can type in just search in the search function, things that you love about Austin and organizations will pop up uh, that match your criteria. Or you can make one gift to what we call the I Live Here, I Give Here Amplify Fund and that supports every organization participating. Okay, and I can attest to the fact that you do make it easy because I've been on the website. So that makes, what, talk about lastly, as we wrap up, the giving landscape. Are you seeing more and more people give? I mean, we've seen the need grow just across our region, but are people still giving? People are still giving. Um, I do think that the economy has uh, maybe made the amount that people are giving smaller. Um, than perhaps what they were giving last year. Um, and so we're definitely feeling it across the nonprofit sector. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you and again, you me. can visit our website, kxan.com, and we have that easy, as you said, the link to where you can give for Amplify Austin Day.